side, there's your man, number 88. But that was a great, great catch by Dez Bryant. He's just so, just so gifted. Good news for Cowboys fans. The Romo to Dez connection looked great. Bad news, that doesn't always mean a win. Coming into tonight, Cowboys fans didn't know how much Tony Romo would play. They didn't know how the defense would look. And they didn't know if America's team could live up to that title. Well, all those questions and more were answered. Check it out. Romo looking to trade in a baseball cap for a football helmet to get some snaps against the Dolphins. Early on, he finds his favorite receiver, Des Bryant, along the sidelines. And things are looking pretty good, but they got scary in a hurry. Third and five in scoring position, Romo drops back to make a pass, and he takes a big hit and fumbles the ball. The Cowboys would recover the ball, but your franchise quarterback taking that kind of hit in the preseason is not what you want to see. But the story of tonight's game was that Cowboys defense forcing fumbles, red zone interceptions, oh yeah, and even scoring on defense. All those are things that'll make a coach smile. But this is a late touchdown, gives the Dolphins the win 25 to 20. Hey, the Texans are also in preseason action tonight. Peyton Manning has already thrown two touchdowns and has the Broncos out to a 17 to 10 third quarter lead. Now the NFL, they're not the only pro league out there. We've been keeping you updated with every step of the Talon Spurs saga and today was expected to be a big one. The Arena Football League originally gave the Talons until today to find new ownership, but still nothing is official. It's believed that the new decision date has been postponed to later this week around Tuesday. And speaking of the Spurs, San Antonio, let's be honest for a second. Don't we all kind of love the fact that the Spurs are always the underdog? They're seen as too old, too slow, sometimes an afterthought. And then they prove people wrong. Well, that may not be the case this year. ESPN released their summer forecast where analysts weigh in on how they think this season will shake out. And the Spurs so far are far from an afterthought. They were picked to finish first. Now, I don't put a lot of value in this preseason hype but it sure does feel good to see the view from the top. Now, those same analysts who picked the Spurs to win it all picked the Cavs to meet with the Spurs in the finals. Today, the Cavs took a huge step towards making that happen as they officially traded to get all-star big man Kevin Love. Love will team up with LeBron and Kyrie Irving to make their own version of the big three in Cleveland. Now, five more days. That's it. Just five more days until the Aggies will take the field and begin life after Johnny football. After losing a ton of talent from last year's team, including three first-round draft picks, some people might think the Aggies are in a rebuilding mode, but not head coach Kevin Sumlin. He says expectations are as high as ever, even for the young guys who have a tough road test this week. Big thing is most guys would rather play at home for <laughs> your first game. So whether it's uh, a top 10 opponent, whether it's an FCS opponent, uh, you know, that that's to me, it's uh, preparations, preparation. The, the challenging part, I think, in this deal is with the number of young players is not knowing how they're going to react in, in a hostile environment on the road. The Aggies will open the season at number nine, South Carolina, on Thursday. That'll be a tough one. Now, the Longhorns, they're eight months into the Charlie Strong era, and along with discipline, the new man in charge is also bringing a winning attitude to Austin. He spoke about this attitude and had a clear message for his players. You have to go be competitive and you should look at your schedule and just look at that schedule and talk about, you know, it should be no one on that schedule that we feel like we can't go compete with and go win the football game. And then you got to learn how to just handle winning. You know, when you do go win games, you can't just worry about what's being said from the outside. Now it's all about, hey, we can't get complacent, continue to grow and develop and go get better. The Longhorns will open their season at home against North Texas one week from today. And check this out. A Little League national champion was crowned today. Chicago's representative, a team called Jackie Robinson West, they were the crowd favorite. But it was the kids from Vegas who got the scoring going early. That was four foot eight Drew Las Palado who knocked one deep to drive in three runs. But then Chicago's Trey Hondras has a deep shot of his own, and this one clears the fence. That shot is going to bring them within one. Hundreds and his Chicago teammates will go on to win this game 7-5. to five. And at the AT&T Center tonight, the story was all about Becky Hammond. She and, the, she and the Stars took on the Lynx in what could be her last game, picking things up in crunch time. Hammond hits that nice reverse layup to bring the Stars within three. But after that, things took a turn. And despite some great effort, the Stars failed to the Lynx 94-89, to which sadly means the end of Hammond's amazing WNBA career. She finished the game with 12 points, four assists, and plenty of emotion. Um, 
it's just been um, a big blessing. And, uh, I wouldn't change anything. I wouldn't change where I went to school. I wouldn't change not being drafted. I wouldn't change my failures along the way or any of the successes. You just keep putting one foot in front of the other and, and good things happen. She is a tough, tough lady who's going to bring a lot to the Spurs organization next year. And I tell you, whenever I see these pro athletes and they go out, they're forced to retire or leave the game, and they show that much emotion in an interview, it really reminds you that this is more than just a sport to them. We see it as a sport, a job. To them, it's a lifestyle. Sure, and how amazing to see her say, you know, she wouldn't do anything over. Right. She, she accepts everything that happened, yeah. and she's proud of where she's been and where she's going. And so, I'm and really looking forward to her as, as a Spurs uh, coach, assistant coach. I think it's going to be awesome. I know. I'm excited to great. see. I'm yeah. ready for the season. You so. know, and something I want to add to that, people are saying that's a big move for the WNBA. I think that's a big move for basketball. Yeah. yeah. She really transcends multiple leaks and, yep. and she's just an amazing person. Yeah. I agree. I agree. All right. Thanks so much, Jeff. We'll be right back.